Gemini, this will happen in the next 48 hours for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Gemini for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Gemini for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2023. Show me. Happy birthday, Gemini. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Gemini. If you're interested in supporting this channel, you can at Cash App, dollar sign, Her Immortal Majesty. This is for donations only, no private readings. And thank you in advance, Gemini. Gemini, these are your cards, honey. So, Gemini, you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the King of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the King of Wands for Gemini. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Gemini. Clarify death for Gemini. Clarify death for Gemini. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Gemini, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airways, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Gemini, listen, something could be happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another, or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you guys got into a heated discussion or argument and things ended, but someone's apologizing and wanting to start new after an ending. You can tell me that someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else, and this may have caused you guys to end, but someone could be coming in with an apology here. You know, things may have ended between you guys, but you guys may be starting new after some type of an apology, and you guys may be uh, making up here. 
Gemini, you have the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Gemini, either you're indecisive or you're blocking Clarify the two of swords for Gemini. Clarify the two of swords for Gemini. Clarify the two of swords for Gemini. It is clarified with the six of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Gemini, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more, somewhere else giving to two. Now you can tell me that you're indecisive about receiving something from this person, accepting something from this person, or you're indecisive about giving something here. Because someone may be coming in with some type of romantic gesture. However, you can tell me that they're giving you something. They're coming in with this romantic gesture and you're blocking them or you're blocking because someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two at one point. Gemini, you have the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Gemini, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini. It is clarified with the Two of Swords again. So either you're blocking or you're indecisive. Now, you very well could be blocking them because they cause you a sense of betrayal and you don't want anything from them. I don't care what they do. However, you can tell me that you're kind of indecisive on whether you're over some type of betrayal because they're coming in here with something. Gemini, you have the Fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey, to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool. For Gemini, clarify the fool. For Gemini, clarify the fool. For Gemini, it is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So listen, Gemini, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Gemini. Clarify judgment for Gemini. Clarify judgment for Gemini. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Oh, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Gemini, listen, you know, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're making this judgment because they took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. They caused you a betrayal, so you're ending things here and blocking them. Or you're telling me that, hey, maybe your judgment is 
to take this leap of faith and forgive them and restore you guys this commitment marriage living together situation or family dynamics or your judgment is to take this leap of faith and go into some type of commitment because they could be giving you bling bling shiny things some type of proposal here gemini you have the tower the tower is aries and scorpio's energy this is something that you don't see coming something that catches you completely off guard something that just rocks the foundation of you guys relationship this is a shock and awe moment a moment of revelation now this can be a shocking shake up or a breakup <clears throat> So Gemini, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed, or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Gemini. Clarify the tower for Gemini. Clarify the tower for Gemini. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Gemini could be dealing with a Taurus. You can tell me that you guys are in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Gemini. Clarify the Hierophant for Gemini. Clarify the Hierophant for Gemini. It is clarified with the tower again. What? Flanking this Hierophant? Ooh, honey, 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 hun. Clarify the tower for Gemini. Clarify the tower for Gemini. Clarify the tower for Gemini. It is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once. Weighing up the pros and the cons. Or juggling two relationships. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Now listen, you know, it could have very well been a shocking revelation that someone was juggling. juggling. They were giving more somewhere else, giving to two, communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else that caused you this betrayal. So that was a shocking revelation and it may have caused a breakup, but you could also be shocked that this person is coming in asking for forgiveness here. You could also tell me that you're shocked that they're coming in to ask for forgiveness and you're debating, should I, should not? Because you could be indecisive on whether you're over it or not. Indecisive on whether or not you're going to accept this romantic gesture, okay? You could also tell me that this is catching you completely off guard because now this person has commitment on the brain here, a proposal giving you bling, bling, shiny thing. And you're indecisive, 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 should I, should not take this leap here? have to make a judgment concerning taking a leap about going into commitment with this person. So they effed up, but they finna come in and clean up here. Big time. I'm going to take a look at your Hidden Truth Oracle, Gemini. It's a clean up woman. <laughs> clean up woman. Shirley Brown. And so... I know I was a distraction from your pain. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Hmm. Ah, well, they hurt you. They caused you a sense of betrayal. And they're really trying to come in and distract you from this pain, hoping that you're over it because they're jumping big to get you back. Gemini, thank you for supporting this channel at Cash App, dollar sign, Her Immortal Majesty. This is for donations only, no private readings. The link is in the description. And thank you in advance, Gemini. Gemini, this will happen in the next 48 hours for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.